Welcome to video 197 in series 3 and now we're starting chapter 10 and this is the vehicles chapter so let's get into it. Alright so in this video I just want to give you a uh, brief intro into what it looks like. So I've put in a Unity car there, I've made some changes, written some new scripts and edited the system a little bit and it enables um, well being able to drive around and uh, basically smash through stuff etc. So let me give a demonstration and the car has health as well of course so it can be destroyed. Oh and uh, my NPCs, whoops, well that didn't work out very well. What I also wanted to show you was as well these are the allies so they get into the vehicle with you so these guys were uh, friendly to me and they will get into the vehicle if they're close enough if you jump in the vehicle. Now I did want to show something else uh, just to give you a just a brief rundown of how it works. So when you come up to the car there is a uh, script that I've added to the player. It's called a player vehicle interaction script. It'll search for, it'll fire out array uh, and if it detects a vehicle and if you press uh, your E key which is the pickup item button uh, then basically it'll send a message to it that something wants to enter the vehicle. Now the vehicle has to already be unoccupied so let's go to the car itself, that's what I called it. So in the car there's a whole bunch of scripts um, on it. Uh, I've edited some of the Unity scripts very slightly uh, not to uh, change its functionality uh, very much or anything like that. It's just some things I didn't quite like and it's a preference uh, sort of thing which you'll you'll see all that in the coming videos. I've made the car destructible as well so that's nothing new. This is just uh, destructible script stuff on it. Oh, an important thing is I made it a nav mesh obstacle so the AIs don't walk through the vehicle and uh, you see funny things happen. Um, then going through, so here are the vehicle scripts that I write. There aren't actually that many uh, vehicle scripts in all, uh, but uh, nevertheless, like we'll go through and write it. It's pretty interesting. It's pretty fun as well. And uh, what I did want, I've already forgotten what I wanted to tell you, but now I remember, is that what happens is when the player interacts with the vehicle, there's something called a cabin here. It's just an empty game object. It's a disabled game object. Now this is for good reason. So when the player actually enters the vehicle, I'll drop the player into the cabin. It will become a child object. And because it's disabled, the player will automatically be disabled. And the same with the your friendly NPCs. When they jump in, they'll also end up in the cabin and be automatically disabled. And this is very advantageous. It makes things very easy doing it this way. And all I do is when the player presses their E key to exit from the vehicle, the cabin just gets emptied and the vehicle sets uh, set back to uh, usage again that it can be used. Uh, the variable is, is vehicle occupied? So it is a rather simple uh, methodology. There's not too much we have to do to the vehicle. Um, well, relatively not too much, depends what you're comparing to. So there we go. I can just show you immediately that our car has in the cabin the player there. And there we go, uh, the max, both maxes have now gotten into the cabin. And uh, the car does have a lifespan. Oh, and I also wanted to point out, the car assumes the tag of the player and the layer of the player. That's how the uh, enemy NPCs, they know that they should shoot at the car. So when you get into the car, it'll be given this tag and this layer. When you get out, it'll be given a default layer of vehicle, which I'll make, and a tag of uh, untagged. So that way, then no one shoots at the car that way. But now, also when you're driving the car, so for example, this building here, the hut, is important to the friendlies and it affects their faction rating. So if I actually use the car to go and crash into it, well, they will be my enemy now, which makes things very awkward when trying to get out of the vehicle because they'll immediately start shooting at me because they're no longer friends because I just destroyed their very nice hut. <laughs> well, anyway, that's a completely silly and illogical, but uh, that's it. So this is the vehicle's chapter. Uh, it'll be quite a lot of fun. Uh, it's probably, I think, I think it's the best chapter I've done so far in a tutorial series uh, by far. So, okay, anyway, that's enough of me uh, just talking and rambling on. Uh, that's enough for this video, so I will see you in the next video, and thank you for watching.